What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 and the autumn season. Right now we're driving around in our Lamborghini Aventador SV or Super Voleche that we just unlocked in the last video. So if you didn't see that, definitely go check that out because we're actually going to be using it today for the Get Hyper Seasonal Championship. So as you can see here, our car restriction is S2 and it has to be a hyper car. So the car fits the bill. We're going to go ahead and jump there. I've actually set up three cars already. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel and start the race. So here we go. You can see we get the Lamborghini Venino for getting three stars for or winning against highly skilled drive avatars, rather. What am I saying? Of Looks like one will. circuit race and two um, sprint races. So we're going to start with the Aventador Super Voleche, like I said. And like I said, we unlocked it in the last video. So if you didn't see that, definitely go check that out. We're at the Lakehurst Pulps Circuit. Important thing to note, when you're doing these seasonal events, you want to make sure you're race, racing against at least highly skilled Drivatars. You can go Expert, Pro, or Unbeatable, but you have to be getting or racing against at least highly skilled to get the car at the end. So, go ahead and jump into it. We do have a tune on the car, and that share code will be on the screen now if you want to check it out. Let's see how it does here. This is a pretty fast circuit. Okay. Chintonario thinks he can bully us just because he's naturally faster. But we've got one, the skills that kills. And we've got the tune that makes us probably faster than his car. So, here we go. We're up in the first. On the first lap, we're looking good. This car really does feel good. I, I do like it. Even when it was stock, it felt really good to drive. All right, so like I said, the tune would be up on the screen. Um, we do have a Discord server, and that link is down below if you want to join that. But what we do in the Discord server is I provide links, or not links, I provide the share tune or the share codes for the tunes that I use in all of the events. Whoa, getting a little out of control there. Let's get out of the grass. Um, but I provide share codes for all the tunes that I use. Um, if you are impatient and want to get all the stuff done, you know, quickly, all the events done quickly, and you're waiting on those share codes, um, I usually post them up in the Discord server before a video comes out on them. So definitely go join that if you want to be a part of that. Um, we also have weekly, or we try to have weekly, as I can remember to change the cars and the tracks and stuff, but we have weekly contest. Um, Right now there's two contests. There's a photo challenge and a weekly rivals contest. You can join the Discord server for more details on that. But you can also use the Discord server and our Forza Club. Uh, man, we went way too fast around that turn. And it doesn't help that I'm talking more than concentrating. Um, but we also have a Forza Club. My goodness. I should probably pay more attention and like actually hit the braking lines. Um, don't use that or hold that against this car. It's literally me not paying a lick of attention and looking around and talking. So, uh, but we do have a Forza Club. It is the Bomb Gaming Forza Group, and so you can join that along with the Discord server. And you can use the Discord server to communicate with other people, other players. Um, you know, if you're looking for somebody to play with whether it be just for fun or whether it be you know to complete the trial event or the seasonal playground games um, event you know it's a good way to find people that are playing the game that are interested in the game and are there for the same reason as you um, you know just to get more information around the game and build a community around it so definitely gets <laughs> go check that out Definitely get subscribed to the YouTube channel as well. Stay up to or stay up to date with all of the Forza videos that we make. Um, every Thursday, I go through the festival playlist just like we are in this video. I make videos, and so what I do is I actually set up three different cars for the seasonal events. 
so that was our first car. I'm going to actually go to the next event now and swap into our second car, and we'll pick up from there. All right, here we are in the second car. It's the Pagani Huayra BC. It'd be interesting to see how this does, because it's not as fast, top speed-wise, as the uh, other cars that we use. It's fast off the get, the get-go, so it's got really good acceleration. It's just not, like, top speed-wise fast. Or as fast because it is fast <laughs> um, but if you're new to the channel like I said I go through the seasonal playlist um, as it comes out on Thursday and for these events uh, the seasonal championship events what I do is I use three different vehicles across the three races just so you guys can have you know more exposure to you know different cars that can be used and different tunes that can be used because not everybody will have, I mean, this is a good example, not everybody will have this Pagani. Or not everybody will have the Aventador that we just used. Because maybe they aren't doing the championships in the same order that we are. Um, so, you know, just trying to, you know, create a little bit more exposure for different cars. And a little bit better content as far as, you know, more options and stuff for the viewers. So... Um, definitely get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for more of that. Um, this Pagani is actually doing really well. I was worried because of the top speed being so low. I mean, it was like a 6.8 or something, and all the other ones were around like a 9 to 10 on like the stat scale. But this thing, like, just the acceleration alone is keeping us way ahead of everybody. So, definitely a good tune. Um, it's very planted as well, so... It felt a lot better than the Aventador, and I really liked the Aventador, so... The Pagani might be the way to go, if that's what you've got. And we're gonna fly across the line a little sideways. <laughs> Beautiful. So, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the last race, and into our last car. Alright, so here we go. Last race is the Waterhead Sprint, and we're in our Zinvo TSRS. Um, you'll probably get distracted at some point during this race, as you can see the very active arrow. The unique active arrow is what I should say on the spoiler or wing of this car. Oh my goodness gracious. A little out of control there. Um, that might have been me. It's kind of the thing that sucks about bouncing around between cars is I don't really have a full grasp on handling of one of them before I'm jumping into the next one so sometimes it takes just a second into the, the race to you know get a hold on how it handles and stuff but let's see we're in fifth place right now and about halfway done we need to make some moves here oh that's not gonna do it so we need to probably break a little bit no, we don't. We're just gonna cut up on the inside there, and that puts us up into second. And now we've just got, I think it's an Aventador in front of us. I don't know that we're gonna be able to catch it, but that's okay. If we can come in second, we've got the points to, you know, get the three stars on the championship, so I'm not that worried about it. Of course, we're gonna push to try to catch him. We might get him around this turn. Nope. All right, so don't use the Zinvo TSRS. Um, it's probably just not fast enough for you. If you have the Pagani Waira, I would stick with that. So that puts us at 56 points. So we did win. So that shows that you don't have to win all three races. You just have to have the most points at the end of it. We'll get the three stars there because we raced against the highly skilled Drivatars. And then we'll get the Lamborghini Veneno, which we already have one of. And we'll also get the 40,000 credits for completing the other two stars and completing the championship. All right, so there we go. That's how you unlock the Lamborghini Veneno in the autumn season of Forza Horizon 4. And that's how you absolutely murder a Volkswagen Golf, I think is what it is. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found the video helpful or you did enjoy it, definitely leave a like. Get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 4 content. Definitely go check out the Discord server. Like I said, a link for that is down below in the description. 
other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video.